that line heads down to, I'm sure you can hear it, an operating ramp pump. We've got, uh, we've got a few little springs uh, up the hill here, capped off, kind of, you know, being collected, routed down through a couple of one-inch black pipe to this white, uh, oh, this little white, it's actually just a, squ a square pail. Um, let me see if I can zoom in on it a little bit here. You can kind of see it. And kind of not. It's kind of lame. Um, anyhow, that uh, they run into there, and uh, it's meant to catch sediment, but it's a little too small to do so. There's too much turbulence inside the chamber, and the sediment seems to, for the most part, carry through. But I'm going to work on that. Here's uh, Right now I have the ramp pump running. I have it pumping water up to a tank above our home. And uh, this is the excess that I'm getting. I'm about to run down uh, to the pump. Uh, when I say run, I mean uh, tread lightly and softly down through this treachery that is the creek. And uh, I'm going to show you the pump itself. And um, here's how water was being collected when we purchased the place. Uh, that spring was just tumbling down the rocks into this kiddie pool. This little fitting here held this tube. See the holes drilled in it. Um, there was a shovel right nearby. It's That all sat where this uh, tank sits now. So it's kind of caught the water as it came off the falls and sediment would collect there. And somebody come down once in a while and shovel it out. And it, was, it was a... Uh, I don't know. It, I'm sure it worked for the guy. It's damn good water. I'm sure you enjoyed it. But uh, I've got a little tidier way of doing it. I've uh, watched an awful lot of videos on this matter. I've educated myself. I've sought out information. Um, <laughs> of all the things to research on the internet, there's uh, it's a lot easier to find information about a lot of other stuff. This was a little bit more of a challenge. Anyways... Here's this, it's an inch and a half PVC for now. I do intend to replace this with galvanized, but maybe a bit at a time. I just, I would like to see the uh, efficiency improve bit by bit. I'd like to see the increments. Um, and it might be a little cheaper that way. Anyways, comes down, got a ball valve here. Um, I've tried a couple different pumps. I tried a one inch. Um, Worked great, but it consumed a little bit too much water. So, uh, as you can see, I've got this reducer coupling here after my union and uh, sized it down to three quarters. But the tricky part here, the trippy part, is uh, this is a one inch inline check valve that I've modified into a foot valve, an adjustable foot valve, adjustable by stroke length. Um, down at the bottom, this is a three-quarter inch inline check valve. And then it just uh, runs up. Here's my little air chamber. Uh, PEX line, half inch, coming out. I've, uh, I've got a little fancy down here. I haven't seen anybody do this before, but I, I sure thought it came in handy. Um, I added a little extra pipe at the back end of this pump on the other side of the delivery outlet. Right here, I've got this extra length. Um, it just kind of serves as a, a stand. It, it stands the pump up. Um, but what I wanted to show you here, this this valve is pretty cool. I'm 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 pretty stoked on it because uh, you know I didn't want to use swing check valves. There's too much there's too much action, man. It, it just gets a little wonky, a little too quick. So. Um, but this valve runs really great, and all I have to do is replace the O-ring on the valve itself. It's got a little Buna N type, uh, little Buna N O-ring, rides in a little cavity. You've seen them. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so let me stop it for a moment. All right. So, how I modified this, um, inside of this and down in the valve um, I took off the screw in the spring I got rid of the screw in the spring in the valve I used uh, this is uh, quarter 20 uh, threads on the valve in here 
So I just used a quarter 20 coupling nut. I did, I did uh, seek out stainless steel for obvious reasons down here. But uh, let's use a coupling nut. And to that, I attach length of quarter 20 all thread. And, um, and then this, this, this shroud here, um, I drilled a bunch of holes in it. It's just uh, some one inch PVC. I've got a, a, a threaded, uh, threaded coupling down here and uh, just a cap. I drilled a hole in the very center of the cap and riding on this all thread, I don't know if you can make it out in there, there's a sleeve of, it's like, it's quarter inch poly. That's what it is. It's just quarter inch poly line. Um, I work on an industrial plant. Uh, we've got stuff like this laying around. Um, and it serves perfectly as a guide. It doesn't it doesn't allow the all thread to chew away at this at all. It just rides in there perfect. I've got a washer right on top. So anyways, I've got the all thread. I've got uh, a pair of jam nuts uh, inside here on the all thread, creating the stop so that this guide, uh, so that this bearing, if you will, this plastic bearing doesn't slide up and down the guiding shaft. Um, got a jam nut, pair of jam nuts down there. Uh, the poly, the washer, a couple jam nuts. And I can adjust its stroke through a range with this, okay? I can afford myself a range. And what I think is really cool about this valve, as it worked out, this was not something I designed it with. It just happened to work this way. So sometimes you're lucky. Um, if I turn this out, if I loosen this portion, um, it will change the stroke. It will change how far this uh, reciprocating assembly can drop. And if it drops more, it takes more water flow to push it up. I get more delivery. Um, I get I get more travel by turning it in. Obviously, by doing that, I'm moving the stop down. The plunger falls farther. If I turn it back out, the plunger doesn't fall as far. I get less. If I turn it in, I get more. It's like a it's like a it's like a throttle on a motorcycle. It's hilarious. Um, so there it is, and it's pushing water up this line that disappears into the oblivion it reappears uh about um 100 105 feet up the hill at a green tank oh damn fool start the video chugging and actually i was getting uh a bit more waste than i a bit more overflow up up top than I was expecting. So right now, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna give her a little bit. Open her up. All right, so I've got a good cycle rate there. I don't have to add a bunch of weight or anything like that to get the cycle rate. I find it interesting that, uh, Man, I've got some mismatched stuff here. Everybody's everybody that I've seen doing this is, you know, you use the pipe, you use the check valves, everything's the same, and then the output over here is half of your input. Um, but man, I got an inch and a half line running down here, neck down. I think it's neck down to inch and a quarter. Yeah, it is. I got a reducer bushing in this coupling. So, inch and a half to inch and a quarter. Down to down to 1 inch in this little section here. And then boom, down to 3 quarters. I don't think I showed that in here. So, this is the little funnel. This is the funnel and then there's the 3 quarter going down to this thing. So, anyway, this is cool. And this is this is I got to run up top and see what it's putting out. Because I'm, 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 I'm messing with it. I'm experimenting with the amount of flow. This is all dictated. I have limited flow coming from the springs. So it's easy to outrun them. Which is why this throttling on this valve just cracks me up. Can't believe that uh, that came to be. Anyhow, walk back up here. See what kind of overflow I have now that I've wicked it up a little bit. I 
It sure is a lot safer coming up this thing than down, I'll tell you what. Going down, I'm always worried I'm gonna slip and hurt myself, but going up with the breeze. Alright. I don't know if you can see that. Probably can't. I turned it up. Man. I bet you that's a quarter minute. I bet you. Anyways, I could turn it up some more if I wanted to. I'm not going to mess with it right now. I'm going to see what I'm getting. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.